Hey everyone, it's Sean here. and Today I'm back to give you guys a review of my latest sneaker pickup. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Nike Special Field Air Force One in the string colorway. So these released on January 19th for a retail price of 165 US or 220 Canadian dollars. So here in Canada, they were only available on Nike.ca. So to my surprise, none of the boutiques around the entire country that I know of actually got this pair. And the only way that you were able to get it was through Nike.ca at 3 a.m. Eastern the morning of. So this string colorway is sort of like the second wave of special field Air Force Ones to drop. So the original release saw colorways like the olive and the black colorway release. For this string version, this one released with another black colorway. It released with an obsidian blue color along with a women's tan version. So this whole concept of special field refers to a militarized version of the classic Air Force One silhouette. So the first thing that you probably think of when you look at this shoe is just how high cut this shoe really is. And aside from the high cut silhouette of this shoe, it also incorporates a bunch of nice little touches that really gives it a nod back to the whole military theme. So the majority of the shoe, including the midfoot and the toe box area, is comprised of this string color suede material. Featured on both the lateral and the medial side, the shoe features these two circular metallic vents that are located right below the swoosh. On the back quarter and the heel of the shoe, this features a string colored ballistic nylon mesh. Similarly, the tongue is made up of the same nylon mesh material and it's constructed in such a way that the tongue is actually connected to the rest of the shoe, giving it this one piece design. On the top of the tongue, there is this Nike Air Special Field Air Force One logo that's stitched onto the tongue. These shoes also feature this string color rope style lace along with these metallic covered eyelids that run all the way up to the edge of the boot. The edge of this collar along with the tongue is reinforced and lined with this thin piece of string colored leather. Wrapping around this ankle area is this nylon strap that is both removable and adjustable. And each shoe comes with a secondary strap, meaning you can really customize the look of this shoe by giving it, say, a secondary strap around here. The insole on this shoe is this extra thick padded memory foam insole, and there is this Nike Air branding located on the heel. So the insoles provided is a lot thicker than the traditional memory foam insoles that's found on your typical Nike shoes. So this makes the shoe a lot more comfortable and as far as Air Force Ones go, they traditionally haven't been the most comfortable shoe, but giving us this extra thick padded insole makes it a lot, lot better. The whole shoe sits atop this string colored foam midsole that has this air branding on the lateral side of the back heel. And it's finished off with this very nice gum colored outsole which really completes the look of this shoe perfectly. In terms of sizing, you can either stick with your true size or you could go a half size down. So for me, I'm traditionally a half size down for my Air Force Ones. So I went with a size 10 and these fit perfectly for me. If you are gonna be wearing maybe thicker socks or if you're kind of in between sizes and you prefer a looser fit, then sticking with your true size would probably work for you as well. In terms of comfort, as I mentioned earlier, having that super thick memory insole really makes this shoe pretty comfortable on feet. And in terms of a weight perspective, this shoe probably looks really heavy, but because of this nylon material making up almost a third of this shoe, this makes this shoe pretty lightweight. And I was actually very surprised when I got them in hand, just how lightweight they were. Obviously, they're not gonna be as lightweight as a shoe that has the Ultra outsole, like the Air Force One Ultra Force Mid that I reviewed a few weeks earlier. But as far as Air Force Ones go, and especially with a shoe that's as high cut as this one is, it is lighter weight than you would expect. One issue I did have with this shoe was I had some difficulty getting my feet inside the shoe. So because this is not very stretchy and there isn't much give with respect to the nylon material, there is some effort required into getting your foot into these shoes and it's not one of those slip on slip off sneakers that you kind of leave at your door. As far as the color of the shoe, I am a big fan of this string colored look. Aside from the first olive colorway of the Special Field Air Force One that I ended up passing on, these ones are probably my second favorite colorway. So now let me give you guys a quick on feet look at how these are on feet.
And that wraps up my review of the Nike Special Field Air Force One in the string colorway. Be sure to leave a comment below on what you guys think of this colorway and what you think of this silhouette in general. And be sure to give me a follow on Instagram as well at SGO8. Thank you guys again for watching and until my next review, I will see you guys then. Thank you.